can read what the guiding question is that we're going to be asking throughout this lesson. Brett. How can we he use the properties of magnets to help us design a maglev transportation system? Good. Remember we talked about the maglev transportation system, okay? We read about it in the story and think about how the properties of these magnets, how they will help us. Okay, what did we figure out? What did we put as a prediction? Um, that when we put most of the magnets on one side, um, the sail on um, the um, boat would cross the base out. Okay. And did you test it? Yes. Can I, may I see it? Yes. Attracts. And then, but if you lift this, if once happened, this will fly down and then pop back up. Yeah, so we would have to hold it. So well, okay. try it. See what happens. Okay, let go, Justin. Oh, that was cool. Now, oh, now how did you make that go from one side to the other? Yes. Um, we um, flipped over the magnets because it was on a track, now it's on rappel. It was on a track, and now it's on rappel. Can you get it to go back on a track? Yes. Now you saw, flip it again. It did not come back on its own. Can you figure out a way for that to come back on its own? No, not by touching it, but by using the magnets. Um, Put them all on that side, Stephen. Now repel them. You lift it up slowly. Okay, so we figured out stacking all the magnets. What did I just see happen? Um, it flipped. Okay, but tell me why it flipped. Because um, when you when it goes over, it will start to like. Flip and it will start to repel, but then it has to stay and it's on repel. But when it goes like this, uh, when when you when you um, have that on a tr when you have those when it's attracting the um, table tennis ball, mm -hmm. uh, it stays on the side. But if you pick it up. The magnet will rise, so it'll bring the um, table tennis ball down more towards the water. And when he brought it back, the, it just flew up. Okay. Describe what's going on on the magnet with the table tennis ball and these. What do you think is occurring when they're repelling each other? They're pushing it away from each other. Okay. They're pushing it away. But what's causing it to push away? Steven. Um, they're too far away from each other. Is it the, is it the distance you, that's causing them to repel? It's like a little force field around it, so the, the um, b little te te table tennis ball could not could not like get over here. If it does, it will like go over like over here somewhere. Who knows what that force field is called? A magnetic field? A magnetic field. What I'd like it to do right now is try other ways to make it move. Okay? You know when you stack them all and you flip it. See, I have to get a chance to do that too. You can repel and the other way attracted it. Let's think of a different way to get it to move. Put all and repel except for one so they'll just repel to that one. Interesting. So put two of them on here. Okay. And then so it repels. They repel. Okay, now the next one says magnets stuck together on the body. Let's see. One, one magnet above these two. So put two there. And then let's just stick it in. Okay, they repel 
followed away from each other. Okay, why don't we tell? What is this? That's the Bob magnet. Who can tell me the other magnets? Just go ahead. The ring magnet, the disc, and the strip magnet. Okay, good. Now the Bob magnet's the only one that's marked, right? So what are we going to do here, Joelle? I'm going to use the bar magnet to figure out where the poles on the other magnets. Okay. Which magnet are you going to work with? The disc magnet. Okay. The, the bar magnet is attracting to the disc, disc magnet because um, the, right now the top is facing south and the bar magnet is, is facing north. Okay, so the north pole of the magnet is touching the south pole. Okay. So, oh, what are you doing now? Can you describe, Geraldi, what's happening? He was making the magnet move. Okay, and how was that happening? Um, the, this is the disc magnet is facing south, and the bar magnet's facing south, and they're repelling each other. Okay, and it's causing it, Geraldi? It's causing it to move away because the magnetic force is repelling each other. Good. Before, when I've done the ring magnet, trying to find it, it's a little hard because if you try to put it on top, sometimes it just like flips over. And why does it flip over? Because that's the side that it attracts. To. Right, so you're either putting the south pole with the south pole or the, or the north pole with the north pole. And does the ring magnet tend to flip over quicker than the other ones is what you're telling me? Yeah. Okay. But if you were ever to have a magnet with like no marks and you wanted to figure out like the north from the south with no marks on it, how could you do that? Why? Because there's two sides of a magnet and if these don't have marks. So these two repel. So this could be north and this could be um, north. Or this could be south and that could be south. So if they don't have marks, what are you saying you would not be able to find out? You would not be able to find out the poles of the magnet. However, what would you be able to find out? That they repel. Which sides are repel? Which sides attract? Right. So you could find out which sides repel and which sides attract. Good. Well, we slide the magnet towards the paper clip. So it's one. The paper clip moved. Went to one centimeter. How can knowing about a magnet's poles help you design your maglev transportation system? Well, the maglev train is off the tracks, so the north, the, the magnets have to repel from each other, so the train floats in midair. Okay, the guiding question for this lesson was, how can we use the properties of magnets to help us design a maglev transportation system? We've talked about in the past the properties of magnets, and what I'm going to do is just review with you some of the properties that we've talked about. First one, Tatiana. All magnets have two poles. All magnets have two poles. And Samantha brought up something very good, okay? Can you tell us, Samantha, about what you said with the magnets? If there wasn't a mark on any magnets, how could you tell the poles? And what did, we, what did you decide as a group? That if they repel, then it could be either north or south. They would be like the same pole. Okay, so it would be south and south, and if they repelled, it also could be 
more, more, more. And if it attracted, it would be? South and north. South and north.